Hello, it's a beautiful day. This is Captain Brett here with another beautiful boat listing for you guys. Today we're looking at a 2007 Baja Outlaw 35 SST model. That's right. This boat has IOs, 496 HO, twin engine, a total of 850 horsepower. This boat is fast. Not only is this boat fast, it has nice accommodations as well. It's got a huge cabin up in the front bow here. Excellent cockpit. Beautiful sun layout pad. Got a powder coated swim platform on the back. Pull out step ladder. And some really nice mechanical features here, of course. We've got Latham Marine steering. We've got Lavorsi trim tabs and indicators. We've got the Bravo 1 props, 26 pitch. Hardeen exhaust. Up top we have a nice eight foot long bimini with the rear strut supports for uh, extra strength, of course. So this bimini folds all the way flat, forward or back to help you get through any bridges you may need. The trailer here is included with this boat. It's a 2006 Continental tri-axle. As you can see, it's a really nice trailer. It's got a brand new jack front. We do have this vessel available locally and online for sale. So if you're an interested buyer, please give me a call right away. We do end our sales early. We offer shipping and delivery. If you're on the water and would like the vessel delivered by a, via a professional captain, we can help facilitate that as well. So this is your exterior walk around. As you can see, beautiful, beautiful paint. This boat's gorgeous. Back here, you've got a fresh water rinse down with a 10 foot hose. Uh, the zip tie is just there for uh, to secure it while traveling, of course. So in a couple minutes here, I'll get another video of the interior cabin, cockpit, sun pad, and everything else from the top deck. I'll go over the features in there as well. Just want to make sure I do a very thorough walk around. That way, if there's anything you guys would like to see, you're able to see it right now. It's got a nice anchor in the front. Uh, I believe 150 feet of, of line there. It's also marked at, uh, well, there's 15 feet of chain and it's marked at 30 and 45. I know that much. Okay, so up top, we have a beautiful sun pad that was recently all reupholstered. Blue, gray, and yellow, and white. It's gorgeous. A rear bench that was also reupholstered. Looks really good. You got two cup holders back here on port side. 
two cup here, cup holders on uh, Starbird. Got some nice big gunnels on both sides. Tears in the front. That uh, raise and lower with the, uh, you know, you can stand or you can sit. We've got six speakers in here, six interior speakers. Uh, four up here in the cockpit, two in the cabin, and two subwoofers as well. <clears throat> Brand new acrylic windshield. Got a nice carbon fiber accents on here. That was a glove box, little storage compartment. So these are your gear selectors and these are your throttles on the starboard side. You've got cabin lights, court lights, engine lights, underwater lights, um, of course, depth finder. You've got fresh water tank, you've got blowers, power hatch, you've got multiple bilge pumps, and of course it's got nav lights, stern lights, interior cockpit lighting of course. So you're looking at the Lavorsi gauges, and over here we have some of the trim uh, controls and uh, drive controls as well as the indicators. So very, very clean up here. Down here is your battery switches. And in this bench, give me a sec. This is your uh, AGM, very nice batteries, two batteries. And a Pro Mariner 20 amp dual bank charger. A little bit of storage in there. Okay, we'll go into the cabin, which this is a locking door. As I mentioned, it, it, it's a very, very large cabin. You've got a fridge right here on the left when you walk in. Some of your main voltage controls, your fusion radio. Vacuum flush head, little storage closet. So inside, we've got our fresh water sink, a little bit of storage over here, carbon monoxide uh, safety warning alarm, storage up here. Nice fans here, fans in the back, fans all around. This is a 12 volt TV with DVD, as well as HDMI hookup. We've got two overhead hatches, both of which have screens. In the closet, you've got a table and stand for this area right here converts to a table a little bit of storage in the bathroom here nice little little bathroom of course got a mirror on the uh, wall here this is a locking door as well and there is a light storage compartment here keep some of your goodies this is a Norcold refrigerator As far as storage goes in the front here in the bow which this is decently uh long maybe oh, i hate to guess wrong but about four feet deep or so enough room obviously to put all these life jackets and first aid kit with a little room to spare it's a very versatile space i've got storage behind the seats here as well as cup holders same thing on this side And under these benches here, which easily removed, there is additional storage on both sides. And then the nicest feature about this interior cabin is that this whole area right here actually converts to a bed. 
So the this outer top part and this side actually go together and form the middle. And it ends up being rather wide. Probably about uh, a queen size or, or even better, if I had to, to guess. Definitely enough room to put a, put a few bodies to sleep, to cuddle, whatever, have a good time out on the water, pass out in your boat, enjoy your time, and of course enough space to be able to pack it up, do other things, and keep it moving. This is a really nice boat. Uh, this area actually has a blue Baja carpet, snap down carpet. It's not in the vessel right now, but it is included with it. It's in nice shape, looks good. Puts a nice blue accent on the ground here, of course. Just not in here at the moment, apologize, but it is included with the vessel and it is in nice shape. So you'll like that as well. That is a vacuum flush toilet system, so you do have your pump out on the side over here. And on this side is your, your fuel intake. This boat is beautiful. It is shining bright. It has been extremely well taken care of.